If you're in Ann Arbor and you say Bo, it means Bo Schembechler. When I first heard the name Bo Schembechler, I thought it must have been a disease or something like that. What a guy, and how lucky we are to have uh, had him a part of our lives. You're gonna win that ball game tomorrow. You're gonna win it for Bo, you're gonna win it for Michigan. You're gonna win it for the team with the winningest tradition in the history of Big Ten football. If you could only have sat in those meetings when he would come in every day and the things that he would talk to you about, about life and about football and about school and relationships. I felt dull and I couldn't get up for the biggest game I ever coached in my life which was the Rose Bowl, and I could not figure that out. But I, had, even at that time, I had no thought that there was any possibility I had a heart attack. Last Thursday, at 2.20, I walked down the hallway of Schembechler Hall, and I had my last private conversation with Bo. I asked him how he was doing, and he said to me, I can't live like this. Some people have said that when Bo was coaching, Michigan never lost a football game. They just ran out of time. <laughs> and I think Bo really believed that. He figured there was a way to win every game he was in. In one man's life, over 40 years, he saw literally a dozen or more advances stemming from research, then applied to humans, then applied to this condition. You know, we have a saying in Michigan football that those who stay will be champions. I can see that you all are champions. <laughs>